Hi guys, welcome back to my world. I'm coming to you today from my disastrous living room. You don't even want to know how bad it is in here. My roommate threw a party the other day. There are beer bottles all over my coffee table. I'm not even kidding. Do you want to see? Do you, do you really want to see this? Okay. Look at this. Oh God. I know, right? That's totally awful. So basically, once I'm done this video, my manifesto for the day is going to be like cleaning up my living room and then giving my roommate hell when he gets home. Yay! So like, I know I haven't done a video in a couple of days and there's really not a whole hell of a lot that's gone on in my life lately. i um, just been sitting around, kind of looking for work, went to dinner at my boyfriend's parents' place the other day. I actually went out on Friday night with my friend Laura. We went to a club called Mystique and it was awful. I have never seen so many Ed Hardy wearing fat douchebags in my life. It was... It was pretty brutal. But yeah, anyway, we went and I totally wore this great skirt. It was like pink and zebra print totally like my shirt which I'm actually wearing the skirt for a tube top right now because it multifunctions like that. I borrowed this from my friend Laura. She's got my brass knuckle earrings right now. So I figured it's a fair trade. If she was going to borrow me her clothes I may as well give her something in return too. So I hope I get those back okay because they're totally my favorite. Okay so um you know last time in my video we went over like a few of my favorite things and stuff that I collect. Well I totally forgot to go over something with you guys. Um it's actually a pair of pants, and they're very special to me. They are what I refer to as my patch pants, and they are called so for a very obvious reason. They're covered in patches. I have been collecting patches on these pants forever, ever since I got the hole in the knee, and that's how the first pair of patch pants started. I got a hole in the knee of a pair of jeans, and I started sewing patches around it. So I'm going to go over all the patches that I have on here with you. There's a few, so count along with me. There's this one, which is on the front left leg, which is above the hole. There is this winged heart here, which I had to sew on to keep this tear from moving down, because we all know that once a tear forms and denim and starts going down, it does not stop. It's not stopping for anyone. So we're going to flip her over now, and we're going to go to the right leg up and down the front. Um, starting her off, we've got my, my Led Zeppelin patch, which is my favorite one right now. Um, I've got a Green Day patch on the seam on the side. And then there's this one right here, which my roommate Dan brought home from his work. He works at a place called Boston Pizza, and I guess somebody left it on a table or something, so he brought it home for me because he knows I collect patches. I actually sewed that on there like the day before the gold medal hockey game in the Olympics, and we won, so yay. <laughs> And I've got two pink butterflies that are kind of iridescent and shiny, but you can't really see it on my camera. And now the back. Yes, there's patches on the back of them too. I've got another maple leaf, which is on the bum. And I've got another Green Day patch back here, which is on the back of the left leg. And a little heart with a skull in it and a little cute bow, which is on the back of the right leg. So that is my patch pants. They're ratty, they're falling apart, and they're absolutely wonderful. They are my favorite article of clothing. Okay, so I was like going through my photos not that long ago, and I actually posted on my Facebook some weight loss photos from me recently. And I was looking back at the pictures of me when I was like massive. And people, okay, are you listening to me here? Like seriously, listen to me. If I ever get like that again, somebody please tell me. Don't just let me go on thinking that I look fine. If I have like eight chins and like look like a Siamese twin, please somebody tell me that I look awful. I don't want to do that again. But yeah, hindsight's definitely 2020 on that. I mean, having kids, especially a kid as big as Anthony was, he was 10 pounds when he was born. Like 10 pounds, zero ounces, 22 and a half inches long. He was huge. Like having big babies makes you put on weight and I put on a lot of weight and it has taken me he was born in what 2007 it's 2010 now it's taken me three years to lose all that weight and it's been a long hard journey but it's so worth it I mean even last year like this time last year I would not have had the confidence to put anything like this on I mean a tube top are you kidding me I would have died but look at me I feel fine like I'm I'm finally able to like go out in public and not be like oh my god don't look at me it feels 
look kind of good. So can you guys like totally tell that I'm just like sitting on the floor in my living room right now? <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm actually my computer set up in the living room. I've got my computer tower hooked up to my flat panel um, because I don't have cable anything right now. I don't have TV. I barely just got the internet like a couple days ago. I had my internet hooked up to my TV so I could stream the Olympic footage in through the internet and CTV had a stream in HD which was super super Yeah, it was totally awesome. They like streamed the entire game in HD so I got to watch like every single play, everything, even commercials. Like they would stream in commercials. I mean on the internet. I guess they kind of have to because it's a live feed so what they like send out onto TV they have to send out on TV on the internet kind of thing. Still, so I watched the game, we won. Good job, Canada, we're all proud of you guys. So, while I was in the shower earlier, okay, I, I listen to the radio while I bathe. Like, when I go for a shower, like, put my radio on, I listen to it, like, super loud and jam out by myself in the water. So I was having a shower, and on the radio, I heard the broadcaster say that Winnipeg might totally be getting an NHL team back. Is anybody else, like, super excited about this? Like, Winnipeg getting a hockey team back. Like, we might see the rebirth of the Jets here. Like, am I the only Winnipegger that's, like, super totally pumped about this? Do you think I've rambled on about nothing enough yet? Can I publish this? Have I, have I sat here talking by myself long enough that I can, like, edit it and send it away? Am, are we good? Oh, hey, Michelle, have you seen these earrings I'm wearing? Check these bad boys out. They're like these gigantic stars. I wore these just for you because I knew you'd love them. What do you think? Anything else anybody wants to know? Um, yeah, I'm boring. I'm really, really boring. All right, well, that's all for me. Um, I don't really got a whole hell of a lot else to say. Um, oh yeah, Jennifer Osius, uh, that means you, Jenny, Jen, 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 Jen. Um, find me a Starbucks patch for my pants. I dare you. I totally, totally dare you. That is your mission. Um, but yeah, um, bye everybody. I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed my rambling again because I seem to do a lot of that. Anyway, till next time. Peace.